coming out of Alberto Contador again, and also a potential change of group set manufacturers for Trek Segafredo. First, we'll go on the group set, have a look here. SRAM logo, massive here for old Cohen de Court, who is in Australia at this moment in time. He did like to go to Australia pretty early. Bit of name dropping, have run with him in Adelaide, classic bloke. He, was, he seemed like a good bloke. Him and Valgrim went past one day. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so he's riding on um, the SRAM red e tap, I'm guessing, um, HRD. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, but anyway, we'll go on to the main thing, which is, is like, their promotion to some random uh, sport even no one cares about. Um, and anyway, Contour did 510 watts for five minutes to take the stage win. Now, I'm slightly confused about this one because stage 19, he didn't actually win it. No, no, like, at all. But I don't really know what they mean. But at the same time, like, he did do a big attack on the last climb of stage 19 with Cohen de Court. So I'm slightly, slightly miffed about this. Could be complete fake news. Might be. But um, if it is true, then, I mean, we can do the maths on this one. 510 divided by 62 kilos, which is what his other power data was, which is like 7.3 watts per kilo. 8.2 watts per kilo, which apparently the best ever watts per kilo is like 7.8. So that does seem quite insane. But then it's quantitative, also, it's just maybe not. Anyway, here's the stage profile, as you can see, on the Jack Hague Strava. Goes up to 800 meters, a couple decent climbs there. And this is the last climb here. So Jack Hague did 442 watts for about eight minutes. Um, obviously, the climb isn't that. Uh, isn't that long? I don't know what they're on about in 2017. He won one stage, which was up lost, uh, which was up the um, angle route. That was it. So, yeah, I don't quite understand that one. But anyway, we'll just leave it. Uh, and anyway, you can see there's a climb pretty steep at the beginning and then flattens off quite significantly at the end. Um, we've got some nice video content. I couldn't show the whole thing because this is probably going to take down for copyright anyway. But here is a little contour just absolutely flying up the mountain here. Um, you can see it's 16%, but he's flying right quick, quickly move on so we don't get done for copyright. Here's Contestor again on his own, just absolutely flying up the mountain. Um, love the man so much. He's an absolute baller. Uh, nice sort of high cadence. There's the team's guy train. You can see absolutely drilling it. And I believe Jack Hague was in this group, I, I think, uh, with some of the Yates brothers and Chavez, a uh, useless TV moto. So anyway, do we think this is real? Do we think it's just complete fake news? I'm I'm urging on the it's fake news because he just didn't win stage 19. Like, you can look on this. Here we go, 2017, uh, Vuelta Espana. Overview, oh no, we'll just go on stages. This is the best way of looking at it. And you'll see that, oh wait, how much, oh, he only won the Lang Angleroo. He didn't win in a single other stage. And last time I checked, the Angleroo wasn't five minutes. Could be, Could correct me, say it was, but pretty sure it's not. So don't quite understand. Um, yeah, stage 19 was won by Thomas De Gent from the breakaway. Um, and we'll see. It. Yeah, I mean, he had a good attempt out of the old, um, what's his name? Old Contador, but you can see he finished safely in the group with Edward Tunes, um, Pete Stetner, and then we also have Alberto Contador for Trek Segafredo. So again, quite confusing. Uh, but anyway... I mean, I'm intrigued by this. Um, I think it might just be cycling tips. Absolute bullshit. But anyway, we do have this SRAM confirmed for Trek Segafredo. And Kieran de Court looks like he needs to lose some weight. Looking a bit chubby there. Contour almost looked leaner than him. Contour stopped racing. So, mate, care a bit leaner for the uh, race season. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next vid.